doing some filming because I just got when I was taking a picture just to my right. Started to walk back to the car. Something threw a boulder, a good sized rock into the water. Big splash, like a, at least a brick size, like a house brick size rock. Right uh, on the other side of that. Inlet there past the dead tree. It's over in there somewhere. Okay, I was just standing up there, just a little recap from like two minutes ago. Standing up there in front of the car, I don't have my monopod today, so it's, I'm filming on the back. And I was just taking a picture because I've gotten pictures of them here before. And I was starting to come back to my car and something threw a boulder or a good sized rock, uh, maybe a brick size of a house brick, into the water just past the little inlet there. Um, can you see that there? Just to the, just to the left there's an inlet. And uh, that's all private land in there, but I'm going to have a look, but first I'm going to throw a boulder in the water and see what happens. You can see that or not. But, uh, let's just hang around a little bit. I've had rocks thrown like across the trail, like small ones, but I've never had that before. Where a boulder, like you know, size of a like a, a house brick, I guess. You know, obviously brown, but because mine was the size of a a softball, and it wasn't as loud, but I guess you could throw it harder, but to make a, a bigger uh, splash noise. But yeah, like right out, right, right past that dead tree, there's a bit of an inlet where. Uh, I would have seen the water stirred if it was here. I would have seen it because I was standing right here. Just doing a little bit of car squatching on the way to another area. I just took a picture. And all of a sudden, kerplunk. Pretty awesome. Never had that happen before. As long as it doesn't come at me, I guess. We'll see what happens. Black flies are all over me though. Alright, so I'm back in a Bigfoot barn. Um, pretty cool encounter. Sasquatch throwing boulders. And I say boulders because anything too big for a human to throw is like a small boulder. You know, a big rock pretty much stops at whatever a person's capable of picking up and throwing with one hand. You, you get the idea. The, whatever was thrown in the water was probably about the size of this because it made a loud splash from 30, 40 meters away. Maybe more. And I was throwing uh, 10 pound rocks out 10, 15 feet and they're making about the same volume. So whatever threw that boulder or really big rock had to be really strong and the rock had to be a lot bigger than um, what I was using to kind of duplicate the sound. But anyway, pretty cool. Um, I'm going to be out in the field more, but we're in the mayfly season. And um, I'm gonna, just going to say, watch for um, some links or footage uh, coming from uh, 
World Big Fit Radio. I did some uh, an interview over there with Duke. So watch for that in the future. If it comes up, I'll put a link here. Um, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon from the field. All right, so make sure you check out the link below in the description. It takes you to my interview with Duke over at World Big Fit Radio. Some of my scariest and best uh, encounters in the field with the giants and little ones. And uh, again, thanks for watching.